Kirby. Okay. Every, I'm looking forward to this. Everybody told me The Legend of Zelda the, to The Adventure of Link is one of the best games in the pack. Fuck you. I quit. <laughs> really? He takes two, then you turn around and smack the other one. <laughs> we can do better. Oh. Watching Dan play this was a real treat. <laughs> I know Dan, he, he keeps a light on for The Legend of Zelda 2. Get a treasure bag and increase your level. What the hell is this? I gotta go through the menu? I thought maybe I could hit it from afar. I thought I, I, I tried to be a little too clever. I'll acknowledge that. You have to wait for frame one after the score updates. It does get faster than that. It gets faster than that. It gets it gets faster than that. But like for all the jokes, this is actually when I think this game is at its most interesting. I told you it got faster than that. Like, these weird mini-games are way more engaging than, like, Beat Kirby, as fast as you can. You gotta get a running start? <laughs> Kid Icarus 1-1 is a different story. That's a great game, man. Cross the Cliffs. You never know in an NES game. Are the bubble's gonna harm you or are they gonna be like a platform you can actually ride on? You never know. You never know. Sometimes you get a damage boost. Maybe not. Maybe you don't have to damage boost. I'm pissed off because I slowed down and my my slow still got me hit at the exact same pace. <laughs> he fucking dies, dude. Maybe can you can you swipe the bubble? You can still S if you get hit by the first one. Alright. What about the first ten? What about that one? What if, what if you drown? If bubbles have an element, is it air or water? Bubbles or water? Bubbles or water? Air is tornadoes. Or like gusts of wind that look as sharp as knives.
take those. <laughs> we drown. We fucking drown. Bubble Beam is a water type move. We don't really respect Pokemon around these parts. We respect some people who do. Sir Toasty Toes, for example. Origin most of the time. I don't even know if Origin's a, a Pokemon gamer. More of like a, a Team Fortress 2 adjacent gamer. But maybe, maybe Pokemon as well. What do you mean most of the time? I respect you when you're telling people to stay on task in the Discord and, and on topic. And then I disrespect you when you tell me to stay on topic. Because I'm like, is my Discord. I am the topic. <laughs> like whatever I say is on topic by default, man. I think, I don't know. I shouldn't be misc posting in Twitch, but like because I'm the streamer, I'm like, I should be in Twitch. Because misc is where like people go to talk about like their problems and stuff like that. Come on. Okay, I didn't ask, plus your ball. That's misc posting for sure. But, or Peloton posting. One of the two. New PB. It's just that easy. We squeaked it. <laughs> you get hit by the first one and the second one. Coyote jump? No, there's no coyote jumps in this. Did he ever S rank that one Kirby one? Yep. Hey now, my friend never became a banker and is very depressed. I got a speeding ticket on my way home to save his life. Do you think the judge will accept the reasoning? No, but did you really get a speeding ticket? Because like, I, again, I'm always, you might think that I'm worried about saying controversial things. It's actually the opposite. When I know I have opinion that goes against the, the median opinion, it's very easy to share because it's funny. But if I have opinion that I think is going to get like two plus two, then I refuse to say it. Because I'm like, it's just too easy to farm dopamine that way. Like it's, it's OP. So my, what I want to say is, how did you get a speeding ticket? Because my perception of policing is kind of that like in the last five years, they just kind of like fucked off. Like I, I haven't been pulled over, A, ever. But I haven't even seen anybody pulled over in like at least five years and i'm driving a lot man like i don't even see cars getting pulled over on the side of the road anymore i don't see like sobriety checkpoints or anything like that on the street like i'd oh my god yes <laughs> i don't know that's a fucking lie it's not a lie man I'm sure, I mean, maybe I'm not in the areas where they're doing the bulk of their work. Like, I'm sure they, they get busy in the downtown east side, don't get me wrong, but I just, like, feel like I don't see them anymore. Even as a kid, like, my dad got pulled over a couple times when I was in the car. Probably speeding, like, you know, 10, 15 over or something like that. But, like, I'll be doing 10, 15 over, you know, it's, it's every day, bro. Boner skeleton! You gotta manually run the ladder. Like, this is fucking SNR in the corner of Princess on Ontario Street. Okay, I see you. Wait, this song is goaded? In Vancouver, I see people pulled over all the time. Not, not my part of Vancouver, man. Maybe a uh, roadblock, sure. The police are doing their part, making sure that the people running the fucking iHeartRadio 5K can safely run on what should be the busiest streets for cars in the entire city. Not just on a day where there's not much traffic, you know, just like a Saturday at like 11 a.m. or something like that. And I know they got to stay safe, so I do appreciate that. I, do, I, I see why you need the whole precinct out there to make sure nobody accidentally drives on the eight-lane road. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to lay it on a little thick. But 
I mean, you get the idea. Motor skeleton! Yes! Wow, it's that easy. Me watching Deadpool 3 when Boner Skeleton shows up. That's Boner Skeleton. No bones about it. Defeat the Stalfos. Isn't he has a name? This seems tough. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to be honest. We gotta be getting, and it, it, listen, there's still some cleanup to do. There's some levels I'd, I'd aid instead of est. And I think we gotta do most of Mario 1. But we're, we're pretty close to getting the cleanup duty on Nintendo World Championships, I think. That's a lot of gameplay for 40 bucks, man. Last Icarus level is gonna be annoying, no question. Thank God. No, you don't understand. Like, right now, at least there's some variety. But, like, as soon as I get to um, everything with an S rank, like, then we're just grinding out the world championship. This shit's pissing me off. You should play Mouser again? Maybe I will, man. Maybe I will play Mouser again. Elden DLC is 40 bucks and it's way better than this. Elden Ring Andrews. When you, nobody has mentioned the words Elden Ring in five seconds, does he know about Elden Ring? Link, you gotta hit him with an up B, honestly. Least annoying Elden Ring fan. <laughs> Even Kate was going off on Dan's chat. Do you know how bad Dan's chat has to be for Kate to be like, I feel bad for Dan? Because he was getting trolled when he was playing Elden Ring. Then go play it, you nerd. No, I don't want to be associated with it. Not yet, anyway. I'll wait till a game drought happens, man. We gotta start jailing those people. We really do. Because you know what? And this is not everybody in the Elden community. And some of you are gonna be like, it's two different people. But it's really not. It's just the same person at like two different times of the, the day. Okay? So here's how it goes. They go into chat. And they drop all the tech for how to beat a boss fight as quickly as possible. And then they go to another streamer that's on the same boss fight. And if that streamer is using the tech that they just recommended to streamer A, they type in chat, oh, yeah, you beat him, but you're using tech A, tech B, tech C. Hey, you should use a shield. This fight's really fun if you parry. Well, yeah, you beat him, but you use the shield. Man, fuck you. Miyazaki hates your ass, man. That's a sad existence. That is true. See, Origin. Origin doesn't give me any freebies. They only agree with me when they agree with me. Which is why they're the only honest chatter. Because there's some chatters who would just be like, I could say something insane and they would be like, so true, that's so true. And then there's some chatters where I could say the sanest shit of all time and they would be like, actually, that's like a capitalist ploy to siphon our like work-life balance away. I'd be like, oh, really? Water cooler in the office? Yeah, because back on the Serengeti, they used to have to let you take a 15-minute break to walk to the Oasis or whatever to hydrate. Fuck you, man. <laughs> it is true, though. You know what lunch goes crazy? Rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. Air fried potato wedges and uh, half a bottle of Nando's medium hot peri peri sauce. This is not, they're not sending their best challenge on this one.
Never mind. Defeat the Guma. <laughs> that I was wondering what he was gonna look like. You know what? That's straight up a Guma, dude. They did not miss with that name. That's not one where you're, you know, you meet somebody and you're like, what's your name? And they're like, Elizabeth. And you're like, I didn't see that. You look more like a Charlotte to me. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. You look more like a Charlotte. This motherfucker is Guma. A hundred percent. Are they still making Elizabeths? I had a lot of Elizabeths in my, in my classes growing up. I feel like I don't meet that many kids named Elizabeth in my daughter's activities anymore. Olivia fucking outcompeted him, man. It's it's I don't know if you've been outside recently. It's basically like all Olivia's as far as the eye can see. And then the male names have gone insane. I, I hesitate to even say this just in case you've named your kid like this, but like Jaden, Jalen, Hunter, Shooter, TJ, Caleb, yeah. <laughs> Argon, yeah, oh, you wrote Aragorn, but Braxton, Hicks, you know, they got all, they, the gang's all here, man. Ladasha. First, you got to make some space, then you got to take the space away. They don't name motherfucker Steve anymore, it's definitely true. They're still making Ryans every once in a while. I'm at the playground and I hear, Ryan! And then I turn around and then some woman my age is, look, gives me a look that's like, why the fuck are you looking at me? And I'm like, oh, fuck me, I guess, for having my name before your kid had his name. That's prison Mike, bitch. They, I, they, that's the genius of Nintendo, is that they took prison Mike top down and somehow transmuted it to sideways. I don't know how they did that, but that's, that's why they're the best in the game. Crumbling Crossing. Go to the left area. <laughs> they, that looks more like a Guma to me. That's it, huh? This game's almost done, right? Leave this chat. You don't deserve this entertainment. You gotta kill one. Fuck you. Damage boost me. There's got to be a better way. He was an 18 month sub. He was only a fucking kid. You see the tweet when Henry Kissinger died? <laughs> it's like 90, 98. 98, he was only a fucking kid. He was, his life had just begun. <laughs> Do we have a down attack? We have a crouch jump. That way you can kind of like slice your legs a little bit. Oh! Yeah, I think you need some some wiggles, man. Oh, you get it later. Oh, okay. Who knew? The, the crouch in there was unnecessary. Wiggle tech? Oh. Dude, that is... Don't squander this one. This is the dream. You know what? Just to celebrate, I'm going to pick up the bag. No! They're losing my bag! <laughs> they be taking my bucket! Knuckle sandwich. Defeat the iron knuckle. I knew Guma, sir, and you will never be Guma. Yeah, this looks like a, a prison mic, potentially. Oh, you, you got it. Holy fuck. He's, a, he's the, got the greatest defense of all time.
It's like anti-prison Mike. This is like penitentiary Michael. Elden who? <laughs> We take those. I don't know, again, like whenever Dan plays Elden, which is like, you know, once a week now, I, I have it up on my monitor. All the people that say it looks hard, I'm just like, I'm not saying I, I'm gonna do it hitless, but like before the enemy attacks, he goes like, and then all you gotta do is press, circle man and then like when the enemy's done attacking they have like like decroted cardio so they take like a deep breath and then you just press jump r2 and like every third jump r2 they fall over on their knees and you can do a critical strike i i fucked it up i, I had such a good run too sir you're getting hit by iron knuckle yeah because i'm trying to set a new world record for beating it as fast as possible which is actually hard. You got a Artua on them? You got a Artua and jump on that thing! I know what you're talking about. You'll quit before finishing? Honestly, like, are you 15 years old? I just mean that, like, sincerely with no disrespect, because I know, like, being young is, like, complimentary, because being old is an insult, so. But, like, we beat Seath and Priscilla on the fucking Bell Fry roof, okay? There's no shot I'm gonna, like, rage quit against Mesmer and, like, never finish Elden Ring DLC. That's just, like, it's a juvenile mindset, quite frankly. Now, hang on, I gotta go Penitentiary Michael. It goes even faster than that? No, actually, being 15 is an insult. 35 is also an insult. There's a window, I see what you're saying. There's a window from like 19 to 24 maybe, or 25. <laughs> from my age minus five to my age plus one. That's not plus five, because then you're old. Ew, 30 in five years will be 30? Ew, that's old. Magic jar excavation. He's putting some squams on the jump, huh? Oh! How are you supposed to know this if you were like six years old, man? Is it this one? Okay, I get it. You want to go down to the side of it. <laughs> Not on top of it. Listen, I've never played this before. Better, better. Squam it, squam it, squam it, squam it. He's got so much momentum, man. We already lost the S tier, but just... Act like you've been there before. He's got butter shoes a little bit, but I think it's just momentum and like maybe Heelys. Maybe he's got some Sopers on. Fuck you. I think you just gotta get it perfect. That's pretty good. I don't. I never want to see it again. <laughs> the fuck is this? Nay Slayer, defeat Mazura. What do you got for me, Mazura? Looks like jump attacks. Penitentiary Michael. That, yeah, I could see that being Mazura. Whoa. Yo, chill, chill, chill. You know what's funny? So I, this is probably like two weeks ago. 
I've, I watch whatever sport is on TV when I'm folding the laundry, okay? So I bring my laundry down, I turn on the TV. There ain't shit on. Sportsnet in Canada, I'm sure it's the same in the US. Eight channels, right? Sportsnet, Sportsnet 1, Sportsnet 360, Sportsnet 4K, Sportsnet Pacific, Sportsnet West, Sportsnet Ontario, Sportsnet Atlantic. Eight of the same fucking show. I have no idea why you got to get all eight channels when they all show the same fucking thing anyway. It was some Saratoga Springs horse race, okay? So I'm watching the horse races. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Have you ever seen horse racing on TV? The ads, you know how like when you watch golf or Formula One, the ads are for like golf equipment, Rolexes, you know, stuff, expensive stuff because it is the demographic watching it. The ads during horse racing, at least during this horse race, were like for horses to come in your horse to make a great racing horse. They would show like a horse and be like, this horse has sired nine Kentucky Derby competitors in the last four years. His seed is strong. I was like, what the fuck? It was, I, I was more like, this shit must be like expensive because they got to add on Canadian TV for that. For just a horse. It's like a, a personal ad for a horse. It's crazy, man. Horse semen is some of the most expensive liquid per capita. We should be printing with... No, wait, we should not be printing with that. Because <laughs> then the printer ink would be even more expensive. <laughs> the fuck you mean per capita? I think they meant, you know, per ounce or whatever. I don't speak Greek. Mares can be millions of dollars and sires from good stock can be hundreds of thousands. Can I say something that's probably going to get me... Um, people are going to minus to this. I think there's, there's various levels of wealth, right? I think horse wealth might actually be an awkward level of wealth to be at where you're more miserable than if you were like too poor to afford horses. Because then it seems like, aren't you stressing out? You're like, oh, my fucking... My stud didn't sire a race-worthy steed. Fuck, my week sucks so much ass. But if you were, like, richer than that, you would be like, I'm on the moon. Like, I'm taking my private rocket to outer space. But if you were poorer than that, you'd be like, oh, shit, I'm rich. I'm going to, like, buy a sports car. But it does a little bit richer than that, and all of a sudden you're like, this horse is ruining my life! My stud has poor sperm motility! This is serious! I think you could pretty easily get your priorities all fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I, you're, you're cooked. You're cooked, Missoula. You're, 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 they, they can't even show their face around here anymore. They ran away. You do a tiny jump hit. That's bullshit. It hit. It even made the sound that it hit. Fuck you. Oh no, my submarine has poor resistance to oceanic pressure. Hey. Hey, hey. That shit, that actually happened, okay? Fuck you, Missoula. I, I own your ass. That one's kind of tragic though, right? Like, in a way. I mean, because like, six people died. One of the strangest deaths of all time. It wasn't like the, the son of the dude who was on it. There's like texts where he was like, I don't really want to go on the submarine. I think we're all going to die. And then his dad was like, fuck that, we're going. That's fucked up. That's like the kind of death where you definitely like come back to haunt some motherfuckers for sure. 
I don't feel bad for him. He's my class enemy. Bro, he's 17. He didn't even... This is a Henry Kissinger. He wasn't doing shit. He probably benefited from some fucked up shit. Don't get me wrong. But he's 17, you know? Day after his 18th birthday, yeah, he's an asshole. But like 17 years old, he was 19. All right, probably there's no good billionaires, but... <laughs> Hey, hey, you had 13 months to renounce your generational wealth, buddies. Don't come crying to me. Defeat Rebanok. Real talk is kind of insane. Yeah, like, I mean... It's not how I want to go. What is he doing, man? Get a life, dude. What? Bro, he's insane. He's the, <laughs> the phase two is the is the hardest boss I've ever seen in my life. So that he comes from the side of the screen. You land on his head and you, you get him to fucking turn around. You like land and bounce. It's kind of insane like land speeder technology, huh? And then it's always like Bro, like, straight up, fuck you, dude. I gotta, like, move back so he comes forward, but then when I move forward, he comes back. <laughs> he, can't, he can't be beaten, man. He can't be beaten. <laughs> the worst part is, like, this is bad enough, but imagine you had to beat, like, the whole fucking game to get to this guy every time you lost. No wonder people were complaining about this shit being too tough. Fuck you, dude. I'm a Kate, are you ready to stream? I'm I can't do this shit till tomorrow. This is this is too much. <laughs> That's good tech. Maybe kill him in the center of the screen. So that he doesn't have as much room to screen warp. He knows I'm desperate. This is the hardest challenge I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> B++ is like possibly the most insulting rank. Like you couldn't just give me an A minus. Cool. <laughs> he fucking, he fucked off. Amazing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Slash marker. <laughs> hey, hookup art. Thanks for the gifted subscription.